Good morning, everybody. It is about 11 o'clock. This is February the 22nd, 2024. It's a Thursday, Thursday morning. And this is a rare opportunity for you all to see me at work. You normally see Stephen at work on the truck or on the road, but it's a rare opportunity where you see me and I'm standing outside my employment at Trigg County Realty in Katy's, Kentucky. I am a secretary here and we're gonna go inside because it's cold. It's a little cold, so we're gonna walk inside. So, welcome to our realty office and behind me, you can see all the properties that my employers have sold. Again, this is a realty office, but uh, the purpose of this video is to discuss the AT&T cell phone tower um, outage all across the country today. I didn't know until I got to work today. I thought it was just our phone service. I thought Stephen's phone is down. My phone is down. Um, this is not good. Of course, it made me realize just how dependent we are on our technology, how, how dependent we are on our cell phone service. But uh, if you were affected by the massive uh, outage, I think that it was T-Mobile and mostly AT&T and Verizon. I think the news articles also said that Verizon and T-Mobile were down. But uh, it was kind of scary. And it, it, my boss and I were talking about how this just goes to show you how indeed we are dependent on our cell phone service and how helpless we are when those towers go down. So in the comments, would you just please let me know if you were affected by the cell phone tower? I think it was multiple towers across the board, multiple. If you were affected by the cell phone services, they said, I, I, it says tens of thousands, tens of thousands of people were affected by it. So anyway, just wanted to know what your thoughts were about that, whether that scared you, whether you thought it was just your phone, or if you knew from listening to the news, um, if you knew that, if you were not panicked, like I thought it was just like my phone, and I thought, I know I've paid our bill, Stephen and I paid our bill. Why don't we have service? And so we're just spoiled to having our service. So I, I was just kind of upset by that. But it's it, but it didn't make me feel any better to know that all the way across the country, people had tens of thousands of people didn't have cell phone service. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, were you bothered by that? Were you personally affected by it? Let me show you here. Let's see here can I get him in here one of my bosses killed this deer let's see I can step yeah so that is a deer head here at work wanted to show that off for the taxidermy and you're probably gonna read that backwards but that says when pigs fly and I'm gonna walk across here Here's a nice mantle mirror. So this is a fireplace. And up here's a nice mantle mirror. Just kind of walking you around my office a little bit. And then back here is my workstation. And here is a display of a lot of the properties that my boss has sold recently. So if you are in the market to buy a house in the Trigg County, um, Katie's land, uh, land or a house in the Trigg County, Katie's Kentucky area, uh, just let me know and I can hook you up with somebody who could take care of that for you at Trigg County Realty in Katie's Kentucky. But seriously, let me know in the comments how you were affected by the uh, AT&T service outage. Steven is still back at home working on the truck today. He still doesn't have service. I can't get a hold of him. He still, he still does not have service. 
Let me know how it affected you all, and you have a great day. Just checking in from Katie's, Kentucky. Bye.